Well hey guys, this is Brennan here with the Indiana Woodsman and I want to do a quick video showing you guys a new product that I found this last weekend over at the Smoky Mountain Nightworks, an addictive place for guys to go there in uh, near Sevierville, Tennessee. So if you've ever been to Gatlinburg, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The place with the blue roof, it's amazing. So they have lots of things that you can spend your money on. One of the things that I found this last weekend was a product that I was pretty impressed with and wanted to do a video because right now for the Indian Woodsman starting April 1st, 2014, we're doing an EDC challenge or everyday carry challenge uh, that will go into May, hopefully May 2nd, we'll be able to have our challenge where guys get together, we go out into the woods and test our everyday carry items in a survival situation. So it should be a lot of fun for those guys and I know they're looking forward to the challenge. One of the things that's a nice thing to have in an everyday carry situation is lighting or some kind of candling power. Um, so the product that I found while I was at the Smoky Mountain Nightworks was the LED Lenser. This one is the P3AFSP, whatever that stands for. But I think the P stands for P Police or Professional. Uh, and I want to go over a few things with this product. So stick with me and we're going to get in real close on this product. Alright guys, well, we're back and wanted to get in real close, kind of intimate with the product that we've got here. And wanted to show you guys what the, the card looks like, what the packaging looks like here. And this is what caught my eye at first. Uh, first off, the, the, this was a 75 lumen light. Uh, and whenever I tested it on the shelf, it definitely looked bright, definitely 75 lumens if not brighter. Uh, and then it shows this, got about a 120 meter throw. Uh, so it's about 100 yards, uh, well about maybe about 90 yards worth of throw on that light there. Um, and it does also have an actual uh, change or a focus um, back and forth where you can expand and contract the focus of the light beam. So really nice. And so I went ahead and tested out the model that they had on the shelf. And I was really impressed just by the quality of the, the build. The products that are used, this is a, you can tell that this is a triple three anodized aluminum coating in black. You can see the the focus ring there where it slides forward and back, forward being the tight focus beam, back being the most wide beam that you can, that flood beam. Uh, they, it also, and this I could not see, but that came with the kit, was a little um, a pocket clip that comes on there, very sturdy, very rigid. I can tell that already. Uh, I could see from the packaging that it had a, a key ring on here. What I could not see from the packaging was that it also comes with a little mini carabiner, you know, whatever. That's, they're kind of cheesy, but, you know, if you need to clip it on something, you've got it. And I've got my Maxpedition pouch. I'm going to do another review on that here for you guys soon uh, as an everyday carry item. But one of the things that I've got on here is it also comes with a little LED lenser pouch. Now it's kind of cheap construction, but it seems pretty well made. Uh, as in the the parts, like the the actual fabric and uh, you know the 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 con components of the case are are pretty cheap. It's not a high quality nylon, but it does the job and it keeps it in there pretty well. Has a nice little kind of Molly style attachment on the back, as you can see, that fits through the Maxpedition. This is the GTG Versa Pack right there. So, anyways, um, let's get back to the light here. It has a really nice uh, swivel on here. This is not one that I feel like would break easily. Also, the ring is a high quality ring as well. I know that seems. Uh, I know that seems a little strange for me to point out, but if this is something that you're going to use as an everyday carry item that goes on a key keychain or on you know some kind of pocket clip or carabiner, the last thing you want are your connection points. Just like a chain, the the strongest point is this weakest link. So no, no matter how great the light is, if the connectors don't hold up or they fail, you've lost your light and you don't have it. The thing that I liked about this light <clears throat> was the construction of it. Oh, I'm sorry, you can also see there's a nice little lanyard here. I've just thrown it all on here just so I wouldn't lose any of the pieces through the weekend as I was kind of testing it. 
So let's get back to the body. You can tell that this is an aluminum. It's not steel or copper. Some people like those type of constructions. This is an aluminum. It keeps it very light. Uh, you can see also that the bezel uh, on here, it's not one that's a strike bezel or anything like that. This is just simply meant exactly for what it's meant for, uh, to throw light. You can see the focus on there. Uh, this is a Cree. Um, LED down at the bottom right there. I don't know what version it is. I'll have to look at that in just a second. But that everything on this is O-ring sealed tight. It has a clicky tail cap. That's one thing I wanted on this. I did not want the turn style heads and that's what I was finding for all of those micro lights was that everything was a turn head. I don't like that. I don't feel like it has a good water seal to it. Uh, to keep the water out of the body. So this one had a click style back end cap and I'll show you guys what that looks like here in just a second. But let's go ahead and open it up and you'll see what powers this thing. It's a very, very small light. You can see, hopefully you can see this, that there's an O-ring right here. So it is, there, there's, a, there's a nice seal here. All the electronics seem to be in good order. This is ran by a triple A and it comes with two. It comes with one in the light and it also comes with another one, an extra AAA in the packaging. So you get two AAA uh, batteries with it. So just one of these runs the 75 lumen light. It's a very bright light. Good solid aluminum construction. Again, triple uh, level three anodized aluminum um, finish on that outside there. Let me go ahead and take off the bezel here. It's a very nice seamless seal. This is not like, uh, and I brought another light here just to kind of show you. This is a SIPIC flashlight. Now, granted, this uh, this light is about oh about five times cheaper than this light. I got this light off of MeritLine.com for about seven dollars. It uses one AA battery, so it's very similar to this. It's got a clicky style. You can tell like the aluminum anodizing, uh, things like that just aren't as good. Plus, the focal, the focus, this has a very similar focus to it. This is a very popular light. It's a good light, don't get me wrong, but that you can tell the, the brightness of the light, the quality of the light. This white is not this white. So I can tell you this right now, the white that is on this thing is a high quality light and I'll show you this in just a second. Let me show you some more about the construction of it. You can see here that um, this, is, this has an O-ring. There's an O-ring right here on this part. There's also another O-ring right here around the uh, light housing where the where the light and you can feel everything is lubed. It's not a dry O-ring on there. Everything is lubed up. It's just a quality construction. Now, let me tell you the price on this LED lenser. The LED lenser is about $30. This is the most I have ever paid for a flashlight, and it's not a big one, and it's intentionally so. This is going to be a flashlight that is going to get abused, and I did not feel like any of the lights that I had currently were sufficient to handle the abuse of an everyday carry and then continue to take a licking and keep on ticking as they say. So I felt like that the construction on this, I, I spent probably 20 solid minutes just tearing the model that they had on the floor down and it's a great design. Um, this would be a water resistant. It's not been from what I can tell in all of the packaging and all that, it does not indicate that it is waterproof, but that it would be very water resistant and I'm very comfortable. Uh, if this was in a downpour, I am very comfortable that this thing would continue to work. So let me show you a little bit about the click here for just a second. And I'm going to have this light on the flood setting. The click, what I like about this is that I can have a momentary on just like that. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. So I can signal with it if I want to. I can, if, I, if I'm real good, I can strobe it if I have to and, you know, whatever, confuse people. Or you can do a full click on. So that's the full click on. 
Whenever you're looking for a micro light, especially something that you're going to use for everyday carry, I know a lot of these little press lights and stuff like that, you have to continue to press and hold. That's not helpful whenever you need both your hands. And so whenever I got this, uh, this flashlight, this is one of the overwhelming, having that clicky tail cap, uh, the click tail cap there uh, was just a winner for me whenever this uh, whenever I saw that because that way it allows me to go hands-free uh, as well I'm gonna be getting I'm, I'm gonna be fashioning actually sewing a headband I have an old headband from uh, a, 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 an LED headlamp that quit working and I'm gonna be sewing in a loop that I can stick this thing through and use it as a headlamp as well on the side of my head uh, or I can reverse the clip and I can actually stick this on a ball cap. That's pretty nice. So you've got a really high power light. Now the now the output on this light uh, with one AAA is only about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes. Um, so it's not very long and it's only one setting. I intentionally wanted a light that did not have to click through multiple, you know, the ones where you gotta go through five different settings to get to the one you want. I wanted a one single stage uh, light that would, as soon as I press it on, it's there, and if I want to focus in or out, that's it. Very simple. Keep it simple, stupid, because I'm stupid and I need it that way. So, uh, very, very nicely, well-built uh, flashlight. Now, what I'm going to do in just a minute, I'm going to show you guys what the beam on this looks like. I'm not going to go outside and show you guys what the throw is on it. Just trust me, this thing will throw a light for about 70, 80, 90 yards. So just trust me on that one. I was testing out the other night. could easily see if there was a raccoon in a tree 50 yards away, you're going to light that thing up and see it on a full focus. So, But I'll throw a few, I'll throw a few spots against the wall here in just a few minutes. But again, the versatility on this thing, the batteries are very lightweight, they're cheap. I can throw five of these in my pack and I'm good to go for at least a year. I mean, I'm not going to be using this thing that much that uh, I'll burn through five batteries uh, in less than a year, not for an everyday carry situation. All right, guys, let's go ahead and transition over to the focus. Stick with me. All right, guys, we're here in about the darkest dark I can possibly make it. So. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm right next to the camera and we're about five feet from the wall uh, and it's just a white wall. I'm going to show you guys what this thing looks like with a flood beam and then I'm going to show you what it, uh, what it looks like with a focus beam and this is the LED Lenser P3. Uh, P3. So there's a focus beam. Good, nice throw to it. You can see across the wall that's very uh, just, just clean, clean focus light. Let's focus that in a little bit. You can see there, almost like a box shape, but still has that circularity to it. So, really nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up a little bit, and I'm going to show you what the flood looks like from about 20, uh, maybe about, maybe about 20 feet away. So, hold on. Guys, well, this is uh, this is the end of this for the the, the P3 by LED Lenser company. I hadn't really heard much of. I'd heard about it, but I hadn't heard much about them. But uh, this is the Professional Series P3. It's a triple A ran uh, LED light. Amazing what these LEDs have come from. Ten years ago, can't they couldn't barely throw 20 lumens and now these things are shooting 400 900 lumen lights crazy with the, the efficiency but uh, guys these things are this is hands down probably one of the best EDC lights I've found yet and uh, really looking forward to testing this out over the next year and uh, guys if you like this if you like our reviews if you like the other videos you see here on the Indiana Woodsman channel please check us out like it subscribe it would really appreciate that. Go check us out on facebook.com backslash Indiana Woodsman. Guys, remember, be prepared in season and out of season, and that's not just for bushcraft. See you later.